A lot of people ask me lately how am I able to travel so much, what my job is. And I'm gonna show you exactly today what my job is as a geologist. Well, that's right. I travel a lot. And maybe I even travel a little more than other geologists. But this has two reasons. For my education I'm more field geologist, so I go out in the nature, see something, take samples, get them back into the lab and analyze them then. Other geologists might work more with lab experiments in the first place or with models. The second reason is I studied tsunamis, which are pretty rare in Germany, so I need to travel to the places where they are, for example in the Pacific or as most recently to Portugal. It's work, what we do here. Work in the sun of Portugal. But let me show you what my work consists of, besides the traveling part. And today I want to introduce you to the lab work. So let's go and check out the lab. I work in an organic geochemistry lab, where I usually analyze pollutants in nature. As a quick side note, it's pretty noisy in labs. At the moment I work on samples which I took early this year in Hawaii. Well, I guess there are easier spots to work than this year. This is where you want to drill a hole? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> This is like super muddy here. What do you think of this here? I'm trying to make this pretty interesting, huh? <laughs> Probably it looks more interesting than it actually is. Or actually, well, it might be more interesting than it looks. <laughs> This seems like a lot of fun, but this is actual work. I can't believe I do that. First thing we need to do is extracting the for us interesting compounds out of the sample which we took in the field, which takes a while. Therefore we use organic solvents like hexane, pentane and others. The extraction of the chemical compounds from the sediment takes a couple of days, but let's say I prepared something to show you more of the process. Sometimes when I work in a lab, I wish I could split up my stuff. So I get more things done at the same time. Now when played back simultaneously on two separate systems, the sounds are blended together to achieve a new dimension in sound, impossible to obtain in a monono recording. I need to do one of the most annoying parts. I need to shake this funnel for five minutes. This is maybe the best workout for free you can get. Because you're like shaking your arms for minutes. I will shake my arms like this for 45 minutes today. Another really important part of working in the lab is cleaning the pool. But it's the most annoying part. And after extracting all my samples, I need to measure it on the gas spectrometer and the mass spectrometer. This was just a brief overview of what I do in the lab. Now the real work starts. The lab work is followed by the analysis and evaluation of the gained data. And after this, a whole other chapter starts with creating figures, posters, Ta -da! going to meetings and conferences, presenting your data. I love going.
going to meetings and conferences. This one is especially cool. It is small. You meet lots of new people. Free food all the time. Free drinks. Later there is free beer. But that's a total different topic. I hope you enjoyed this little insight into my work and so it's not just traveling. We will see each other tomorrow. Very early tomorrow. Oh,